What is it with all the movie sequels this year? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows stars Megan Fox, Stephen Amell, Will Arnett, Tyler Perry, Brian T, Gary Anthony Williams, and WWE superstar Sheamus. And in this movie, when Shredder escapes custody, the Turtles have to do everything they can to find him before he puts another evil plan into action. Whether a secret enemy who isn't in the trailer, so I'm not going to spoil who that is for you guys, recruits Shredder to help him take over the world, and does so by giving Shredder this purple ooze in which he creates two evil henchmen, being Beep Bop and Rocksteady, to take out the Ninja Turtles. And so while the Ninja Turtles are fighting in the shadows, Megan Fox, Stephen Amell and Will Arnett are fighting out in the open. Now, I didn't like the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I thought it was a bad movie with a few good action scenes, but overall it was the April O'Neil show. Fortunately for this movie, they seem to have listened to the criticisms they got for that movie. And the best part about this movie was that it did focus on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles themselves. And unlike the last movie, I felt like they had more of a brotherly bond. They argued with each other, they joked around with each other. It felt like they had more of a connection in this movie than they did the last movie. And that really surprised me in this movie, considering I went into this movie expecting it to be April O'Neil meets Casey Jones featuring the Ninja Turtles. But really it's not. Although April O'Neil and Casey Jones are still a vital part of the movie, it is overall a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. But with that, is this a great movie? No. It's still not a great movie. It still has Michael Bay's fingerprints all over it. And it definitely shows from a product placement to the action scenes. And all the action scenes are fun and entertaining, primarily the aeroplane scene. The story itself just crams so much into it. Like, this is a full fan service movie. You've got everything from their garbage truck to Rocksteady and Beat Bop, to Shredder returning, to a secret villain who you probably guessed, and all this other stuff from the actual show. So if you are a fan of the show, then this has been thrown at you. You've got a big smile on your face because it's nostalgia to you. You're you're getting all the references, the easter eggs and all that that's thrown into your face. And with that, you're having a better time in the movie. And this movie does try to create a more lighter tone for the kids in the audience, considering itself is a kids movie. However, in doing that, it really explains things in a stupidly obvious way. And you could argue that that's for the kids so they can understand it more. For example, Casey Jones is looking for Beep Bop and Rocksteady and he's tracking them with this device. And it's blatantly obvious, it's showing him what floor of a building they're in, whereabouts they are, the two little dots with their names above them, and it explains it in such a childish way, it makes it really obvious. But the kids aren't that stupid, I'm pretty sure if they knew he was looking for Beep Bop and Rocksteady, you can have one dot in the building and they'll be smart enough to go, oh, they're in there. Now the acting in this movie is fine, Stephen Amell does a good job as Casey Jones, I really liked Seamus and Gary Anthony Williams as Beep Bop and Rocksteady, I thought they were great in this movie and they provided a lot of the good laughs. Megan Fox is fine in the movie, but she's more there to just look at. You know the phrase, something for the dads where they have the children's show and then they throw something in that dads would like. That's basically what she is in this movie. She's something for the dads. Tyler Perry, as I expected, is just a very over-the-top character, but it wasn't so over-the-top that it really annoyed me. But of course, the Ninja Turtles steal this entire movie, and I think that's more because of a connection they had in this movie than they did the first. There's some great banter being thrown between these characters, and it works. You can see that although they don't always agree, there is love there. And when it really comes down to it, they will be able to work as a team to save the world. World. The visuals aren't really great in this movie either. There are times when it's pretty good, but there are also times when you can clearly see that it's CGI. But I can kind of get past that because this is quite a fun movie, especially compared to the last one. And so overall, guys, I'm going to give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows three stars. If you are a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, if you loved the first one, you will probably love this one. If you didn't like the first one, I could say check this movie out because you might enjoy it more than the first one. It is by far the better movie. But if you're not bothered about the movie at all, then don't watch it because you won't like it. So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. It'll help my channel out a lot. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.